new bike. All right, everybody, I'm going to take my bike out. Um, now, this new update is supposed to improve low speed operation, misfire detection, and idle performance. The updated calibration will also increase the accuracy of the fuel level and expected range. Now, let's get started. All right, first of all, so this is new. I'm not using clutch or gas. Now, it could stall on me. It's, a, it's, it's lugging a little bit but i was never able to let this thing idle before all right now every other bike i've owned except for indians i could idle so this is an improvement but let's go ahead and just do a normal u-turn here then with the brake and the clutch very very easy i know a lot of guys don't practice that but Oh, and by the way, this is also in, I put it in, in normal mode. Alright, so, wow, I can't believe this thing can idle like this now without shutting off. I couldn't do that before. That's cool. Alright, so it seems to me, let's see if I can get this going without any gas. That was zero gas, zero throttle. That was a pure clutch let out. I couldn't do that before. Let's do that again. All right. I know if you don't got this update, you can't. I'm 99% I'm sure you can't do this, right? No gas. All right. No gas. It's all clutch. No gas. That's it. You can't do this. You can't do this on any other Indian that I know of. Uh, I don't think the scouts can, can idle either. Maybe they can. I'll have to ask somebody. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Um, wherever I post this, you know, let me know. I'm but I couldn't do this before. All right. So this is good. Like, man, the bar. Oh, man. Feels so good. Able to do this. So now I could use this in a parade or something. All right. We got ourselves a nice full lock turn there so uh, I was able to do that before no problem uh, a lot of guys can't do it just because they can't do it and they might have blamed the bike but for those of us that are good at doing stuff like that you know it, it's not really a not really a habit of ours to blame the bike when it's really up to the rider see that's a full Full 360 for you. We went right. Now we're gonna go left. All right. If you're not good enough to do that, that's on you. But I, I, I can, I can confirm that. You know the bikes were definitely having some issues with that. Now see, there we go. I was off the gas. I just went onto the gas after having let it off. And usually that would jerk. Let's do it again. No gas gas now there's a slight gentle pull because i work the throttle just right and that's always going to be there okay because you're going from no power to power it has to have some kind of transition right all right i'm in sport mode now now that's got a little pull to it still all right okay let me wait for these cars it's got a little 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 jerk to it, but that that's to be expected with how much power there is. That is smooth. The shifting is smooth now. When I when I bring that clutch back in, I'm not feeling that what felt like a wind up or something like on the clutch plates, like if it was slipping or something before, like you know, because it's a slipper clutch. It's made for downshifting, but. I could imagine there's some kind of changed feeling because it definitely feels different than other clutches that I've had. Um, but now the transition going up. That is, oh my God. That is insane. It feels 
so good. Now, I rode this in sport mode yesterday for hours. I had my wife on the back, and it felt so responsive right now. Oh my god, it, this is a new bike. This is a new bike. This is how it should have felt to begin with. This is awesome. This is why I ride it in sport mode. Alright. But, man, this, this is a different bike now. It definitely feels better. I'm going to be doing a full stage one next. I think with the air box, we'll see what happens. That's insane. Some people might not be able to shift as fast as you're seeing me shift this. If you can see, I know it's kind of hard to see me shifting, but you might be able to hear it or see it on the gauge or whatever. Um, I'm shifting very fast. I'm shifting this like a sport bike. Basically the same thing, right? I'm just, just as I have a quick shift, I'm just popping the clutch in and shifting and it's so smooth all right now that that's my skill but also the bike's ability okay the bike can do that i have no regrets uh, i'm very happy now um, i had a weird start at first the first morning after i got it but god that's smooth all right so that yeah see again no gas from no gas to gas, no jerk. That was in second gear around the corner. I couldn't do that before. There was no clutch. There was no clutch involved in that one. That's awesome. That's awesome. If you're hesitant about doing this, don't be. Don't be hesitant. I would just do it. You know, they've you know, I've seen people, oh, it took them two and a half years, whatever. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it took them two and a half years to do. Everybody's proclaiming, and I'm not trying to knock on Lloyd's here or, or Dino Jet, but everybody's proclaiming like, oh, they got this out. Dude, they had that, they had, they started flashing these bikes like the first year they were out. The guys that make it just spent two and a half years reprogramming it. Oh, it's EPA compliant. So what? Okay, what's your point? It's yeah good it's epa compliant so you won't get in trouble and you won't void your warranty this i could tell you this new update feels awesome this bike definitely feels like i think it should have come from the factory now i haven't rid i haven't ridden the the Lloyd's tune bikes or the dino jet one and at this point i don't care to because they fixed it within a few months of me buying it and it sucks for anybody that spent money on that before being able to try to let the manufacturer themselves do it because now you know you break your bike I, I can assure you neither dino jet nor lloyd's is going to back you all right you, you, your engine breaks it's your problem you accept the responsibility when you do that so you know that that's on you you do with your property what you wish but for the majority of us you know, I, I think we like to keep our warranties intact on, on very expensive motorcycles like these. And this new update um, doesn't leave much to be desired, if anything. It, it feels good to me so far. I put hours on it yesterday. That's manageable right there, see? Oh my god, it's so smooth. So, I hope this helps. Go ride those bikes.